Okay, um, right now I'm going to give the notes for uh, H3J, so high level, chapter 3, subsection J, magnitude and direction of vectors. Okay, so here's an example. We're given a vector OA with the magnitude of A, and we want to find the coordinates of A. So we've got vector OA. We know this is 8, and in order to figure out uh, the x value and the y value of the coordinates, I need to, uh, I'm going to need to use some trig. So uh, I'm going to need sine, cosine, and tangent. So if I think about this for a minute, we know that um, y is the opposite of the angle here, and x is adjacent to the angle here. So um, in order to find the y value, I'm going to be using opposite and the hypotenuse. So if I'm using opposite and the hypotenuse, I'm going to use sine. So I can say, okay, so sine of 20 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse, y over 8. And then if I multiply both sides by 8, I get this. I end up with the y component is 2.74. Now to find the x value, I'm going to need, I have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, I'm going to use cosine. So I could say um, cosine of 20 degrees is equal to um, adjacent over hypotenuse, x over 8. OK, so multiply both sides by 8, we get this. And then I get the x component is 7.52. OK, so now that I know the, the x component is 7.52, the y component is this, I can write the vector in component form like this or I can write the vector in Cartesian form like this. And that's what you need for this lesson. Hope that helped.